Welcome to my Ultimate Iron Man series, where I hunt down and catch implings all around Gillenor and compete with bots in Puro Puro, all with the end goal of catching thousands of implings to train my stats, achieve 99 Hunter and hunt down the rarest of items from lucky implings. This is my impling only Ultimate Iron Man. Welcome back to episode 47. Last episode we opened up a bunch more medium clue scrolls, getting ourselves another pair of ranger boots got ourselves a new clue unique from a lucky impling and finished off collecting 6.3k planks from eclectic implings. We are starting out this episode working on herb law. Last episode I finally finished off collecting 1.5k snake grass from eclectics which took forever so I can finally make them all into these useless fishing potions for a nice chunk of herb law experience. Still shooting for 78 herb law to make samaric brews with all of my torstal seeds but still a way to go. I decided to suicide your spory so I could speed things up a little bit with more space. I think these herbs will only get me a single level which sucks. Just shows how hard herb lore is. 75 herb lore and all of the herbs are gone. Less than 100k XP until 76 so that isn't bad. I'm going to clean up a few other things in my bag before I rebag because it just makes sense while I'm suicided. I can quickly do these bones with my marantils and the gems for a bit of crafting XP. Well, I hate to say it, but it's time to do some more mahogany homes. Let me get all bagged back up and we can do this. Well, after all that, I can finally start doing some construction. Space isn't ideal, but we can work with it. I'll use the normal planks first to get the extra space. We'd better get started, a lot of tea to drink. And that's the first construction level coming in. That was an easy one. Not used hardly any planks so far. A long way to go for the next one. That's the normal planks used up, an additional inventory spot unlocked. Time for an even longer grind for these oak planks. This isn't fun. I have to do this in short bursts, it's quite boring. 89 construction, first proper full level done. But a bit of a problem, this has eaten into my lore runes badly. I underestimated how many this would use. I saved 53 laws as well using the chronicle and I'm still running out. So while I go and grab a bunch more essence implings, I'm going to hunt down some lucky implings as well. I've been doing the math on how many lore runes this could take. I just used 128 lore runes for 2,956 planks, which averages at one lore rune every 23 planks. Therefore, if I do 5,170 divided by 23, I'm going to need around another 225 lore runes to finish off these planks. Quite a few, and I'll need some left over as well. Hopefully we'll find a few luckies in that time. Well, um, I said a few luckies. But I kind of got addicted to scouting luckies again for multiple days. I really wanted to get closer to 500 total luckies, which is my goal for this year. I even got a couple of impling scouts from the one and only Chunky Fairf. Some nice payback for our lucky impling days. Then I found a random lucky in Lumbridge when looking for a star on the star mining account and got a healthy 40 Zami wines to the collection. Another pure lucky snipe coming in, this time for black plate legs. Ew. Another clutch catch coming in, sorry to the other guy, for... Ooh, a collection log slot, Rune Helm H2. We take that, we take that. Not long after that and we find another, this time for... 
Oh, damn, a Sidious hood. Now that is a cool item to see. Yo, I just realized that is our first ever Master Clue unique from a Lucky Impling. That is even more cool. A very side clip now. Thank you, Odium, for the scout, but sometimes this happens. It despawned the same tick I went to click on it to catch it. Absolutely heartbreaking scenes. Apologies that these few lucky clips are a little bit laggy. My laptop was crying at me for having so many Impling Scouts open. I guess my laptop doesn't respect the grind. It took me forever to find this one. I ran in circles around the farming guild, but I finally found it. Or 30 grimy toe flax. Some amount of coins in that one. Been a bit since I found the last one. That means it's going to be rewarding. Holy shit! Holy sandals! Now that is so lucky. Imagine if that was ranger boots, but I'm happy as it is a unique and isn't more shared items or runes. Well, speaking of shared uniques and runes, the next nine luckies were exactly that. More useless pages, runes, and common easy uniques. I'll take the nature runes and soul runes though. Not the best, but they add to the stacks. And finally, the last lucky of this little segment for eight onyx bolt tips. Well, we have over 300 law runes now, so instead of procrastinating, I should get back to Mahogany Homes. Once I splash all of these runes, of course. Oh, dang, 89 magic. Been a while since I got one of those, and a long way to another. And the runes are gone. Back to the planks. Really not excited to get back to construction. I love this. Today's update, I can finally store my forestry kit in the POH. So that's a nice inventory space back and it keeps my stuff safe. We take those surprise updates. I found a stray lucky while DM hunting on the side. What do we get? A boring Sarah page. A quick run back into Pura Pura while doing our construction for a lucky scout. This time for a tooth half of key. Finally, another construction level. Hopefully one more level to go with these planks. I try to do 100 contracts a day. Emphasis on the try, as I don't usually get that many. Well, the skill calculator lied to me. I didn't have enough planks for 91. 59.8k XP off, but oh well. A good job done getting through all of those planks. I've also managed to convince myself over the final 1k planks to cook the fish that I bagged from Temporos. I will be getting more, but it's a job and a half to get through them all, so I don't want to add to them yet. It does mean I have to suicide again though. This will be a nice couple of total levels and some noobs get some free fish so it's a win-win. The first cooking level coming in and hardly made a dent in the fish. I know I'm supposed to be cooking my fish and I normally wouldn't move around the game with my stuff in a spory but this lucky is lucky number 500 on the account and we get room plate legs and just to show you my net that is 113 and 387. 500 luckies on the Impling Only Ultimate Iron Man. Another cooking level coming in and the fish are actually starting to go down. The luckies don't stop coming at 500, we just cannot be stopped, finding them here, there and everywhere. While I cook these last fish, I want to talk about the new proposed Karen changes coming along with Falamore. For me, they aren't the best because they are now locking things behind quests that I cannot do. Starting with Arceus. The ability to use the Arceus spellbook will be locked behind the Ascent of Arceus. I don't know what this does for my mind altar portal in my POH, but if I can't use that anymore, then bye bye my runecrafting method. I also won't be able to do bloods or soul runes at 77 runecrafting, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. As for Hasidius, cooking here in the Hasidius kitchen will be locked behind Depths of Despair. It isn't a huge loss, as I'm already a pretty high cooking level, but losing that little boost does suck. What sucks even more is the protected herb patch would now be behind the medium diary, which I also cannot get. I can use the patch still, but it won't be disease free, which I use a lot for my high level herbs. Luckily, I already have my seed box, because Tithan would also be locked behind depths of despair, and I really love my seed box, so I'd better not lose that. As you can see, these changes are not ideal for skilling non-combat accounts. I'm not affected by Loverkens, Piscarillus or Chasian changes, however I won't be able to read out any of my Graceful from then on, as I will need to have completed the applicable quests. Luckily I finished that grind already. One good change for me though is the mine carts around Kren will become accessible for 20 coins, and additional ones will be added to Kingstown, the Farming Guild, Kren Woodlands, Wintertod, Chasian Mall and Tithe Farm. 
That will help a lot with clue steps and travelling around this huge place. There may be some changes to what's being said at the moment, as I believe skillers are not happy with so much being locked behind combat quests suddenly. But we shall see. I personally hope some of it gets changed too. And all of the fish are cooked and disposed of. Another big grind done. Didn't quite have enough for 94 cooking, but pretty close. Cooking could be my first 99, but I hope not. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm here. I've been suiciding a lot lately. That means my looting bag points keep going down. I like to have a comfortable amount to keep this account going, especially with surprise drag exchanges all the time. Also, I'm not going to lie, I've heard there are a lot of bots in LMS at the moment, which means more points for me and my terrible PKing skills, so let's see. Last time I did this, there wasn't even different modes. Max Med, definitely understand what that means. This looks like a bot. I'm going to just range rag, as I've heard that's good. He isn't changing his prayer at all, so I think it's definitely a bot. Try specking him out. If I can click the right things. No, my sharks are on left click drop. Well, we killed a bot. Let's change the sharks back to eat, shall we? I am so clueless right now. Well, these games have so many bots that I'm in third place. Yeah, I have no chance. Put me out my misery, Iron Man Pie. That is four points for us. Let's keep that going. Oh my god, I think I'm going to get my first kill and it's a real person. Die. Die. Yes. No. Maybe I'm better at being a Zerka. Oh, this might be a bot again. I don't mind that. Oh, he was just asleep to start with apparently, but wasn't awake enough to kill me. I win again. Not to get the wrong idea. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I am doing. But occasionally I get lucky like here and here. And that makes me very happy. Shout out to 3 Walcott for recognising me in LMS. I couldn't go easy on you though. Still fair game. And I'm super impressed that I even ended up winning the fight. My second kill of that game too. Forget that. I killed three people this game. And they were real people. I don't know how. I guess I'm actually getting better. And got into the final two. I got destroyed. But it was a five point game, my personal best. I am so happy with that. I think I'm going to stop here with 52 points. That is over three times what I started with. And I actually had some fun as well. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Look out soon for a video of all 500 lucky implings caught on this account. It was a huge thing to edit. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I would like to say a big thank you to those who joined my YouTube membership. My low tier implings, Citra Hops and Radish Boy for becoming high tier implings, and a special thank you to Davey for becoming a rare tier impling. I really appreciate the additional support. If you'd like to join my channel, then the button can be found next to the subscription button below the video. Thank you again!